Hello friends, this video on mathematical reasoning part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Now to understand if then and only if. If then is a sufficient condition. For example, this guy is the guy and he eats food if the food is uh, pizza, burger or sandwich. So if I say if food is pizza, this guy will eat. So if I say if food is sandwich, Rohit will eat. Similarly, if I say food is burger, Rohit will eat. If I say food is again I mean, pizza or sandwich, the Rohit will eat. So what we have seen here that whatever values I am putting here, sandwich, burger and pizza, they are sufficient condition, they are not necessary condition. That means if the food is sandwich, he'll eat. If the food is burger, he'll eat. If the food is pizza, he'll eat. They are just a sufficient condition. They are not necessary condition. There may be scenario that if the food is, let's suppose, uh, dosa, dosa, then also this guy will eat. It can happen, right? So pizza, burger, sandwich, they are sufficient condition, but not necessary condition. But when I say only if it is a necessary condition, I'll say the statement only if Rohit ate food is sandwich. For example, I want to know whether the food is sandwich or not. The first condition I should check is if Rohit has if Rohit has eaten the food, then only we can say that the food is either pizza, sandwich, burger, or dosa. If he has not eaten, that means food is not in any of this category. So we can see that Rohit eating the food is a necessary condition determine whether the food is pizza, burger, sandwich, or dosa. Only if Rohit ate food, the food is burger. So if you want to find whether the food is burger or not, so in that case, Rohit eating the food is a necessary condition. If Rohit eat the food, that means food is burger. If not, then it is not burger, that means for sure. It can be anything else. Only if Rohit ate food, food is pizza. So if Rohit has not eaten food, that means food is not pizza for sure. So here if you see, here only if it is a necessary condition. And if then is a sufficient condition. Because if pizza is satisfies, Rohit will eat food. So if the, if the end goal is Rohit will eat, eat food, it will be satisfied if the food is pizza, sandwich, burger, dosa. So all these are sufficient condition. But here if you see only if Rohit ate food is same in all. This is a mandatory condition. So only if is mandatory condition or necessary condition and if then is sufficient condition. Also we see that sufficient is the inverse of necessity. For example, if we say P is P implies Q, that is if P then Q, then we say P is sufficient condition for P and Q. But Q is the necessary condition. Here if you see, P is a sufficient condition and Q is the necessary condition. Here also we have seen, we have this form, this is P, the whole thing is here is P and this thing is Q. So if you see all these are sufficient condition, if pizza, if burger, if sandwich, they are sufficient condition. But if Rohit ate food, only if Rohit ate food, this guy becomes sufficient condition. Correct? So, in a case where if P implies Q, if P is sufficient condition, then Q is necessary condition. Hope this point is clear. In case of if and then, it is a sufficient condition, not necessary condition. So, if you want Rohit to eat food, you can either give him sandwich, burger or pizza. So sandwich, pizza and burger are all less sufficient condition, they are not necessary condition. But Rohit ate food, that is a sufficient, that is a necessary condition because you want to find if food is pizza or not, then the first condition you will check is whether Rohit ate food or not. If this condition is satisfied, then only you can tell whether he ate food or not. So this is a necessary condition and sandwich, burger, pizza are all sufficient condition. So if and then is sufficient condition and when you say only if, it becomes necessary condition. Now we'll talk about if and only if. So let's suppose there is one more guy and he eats only food and in food also he eats only apple, right? And it is bi-direction actually. If you see even only if is a bi-direction, I'll show you why. So if you see, Krishna will eat if and only if food is apple. So if this guy, if the food is apple, then only he'll eat. So we can say that if the food is apple, Krishna will eat. Also, we can say that if Krishna ate, that means food is apple. Correct. So it's bi-direction. If the food is apple, we can say that Krishna will eat. 
Also, let's suppose we are not aware what the food is, it is hidden somewhere. And we were told that Krishna ate. So if Krishna ate, and we know that Krishna ate only if, if it's apple, and we can say that, in that case, that the food was apple. Correct. Let's suppose that this part is hidden from us, and we were told that Krishna ate food. Then we can say that the food he ate is apple, because we know the condition that Krishna ate if and only if it is apple. And if there is a food called apple, and we want to find whether Krishna will eat or not, we can say Krishna will eat or not, because the condition is Krishna will eat if and only if food is apple. So in case of if and only, it's a bi-direction. That means both the statements are true or false together, and both are necessary in certain conditions. So if we say Krishna ate food, right? This is sufficient necessary condition, and it is apple is also necessary condition. So we can use this syntax. Krishna will eat food if and only if food is. In earlier case, we saw that we have pizza, burger, and sandwich, and this guy was Rohit, right? So if you see, this was one directional action. This is not bi directional. So if it is pizza, we can say Rohit ate food. But Rohit ate food, we can't say it is pizza for sure. It can be pizza, burger, or sandwich. So it was not bi directional. This directional flow was not happening. So it was from this side, it was a sufficient condition, this side was mandatory condition. But in this case, in both sides, it is mandatory condition, it's bi direction. So if here it is apple and this guy. So if there is apple, this guy will eat. If this guy has eaten, that means it is apple. So it's bi direction. Correct? In case of if and only if it's bi direction, and both are sufficient, both are sufficient condition and both are necessary condition. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.